Hi there, everybody. Welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. Let's drink some beer, shall we? Let's drink some stout. This is a Licorice Lads, ooh, Licorice Lads Stout. It's a 4.3% ABV from a Great Newsome Brewery. Um, the east of the hall between the hull and the coast. Uh, they're probably halfway between the two. Um, looking forward to this. Um, people have heard me talking about a brewery called Nailers before. No longer with us, unfortunately, because of the pandemic. But Nailers used to do uh, something called licorice libra libation. Uh, to be honest, didn't really taste anything like licorice, but was a beautiful beer. I don't think it's going to taste like that. Um, but I just like to get the story in about. I think the reason why I like to get the story in about um, Nailers, it's just a really. It's just for me, it's a reminder that we need to help Yorkshire breweries. Uh, no, Yorkshire breweries. So we need to help local breweries and Yorkshire breweries and all those local uh, retailers as well that, that sell this stuff. So for me, it's uh, one of my biggest ones in my area is, is Yorkshire Craft Beers in Cass. Uh, you know, we've got to support these guys because without our support, they're going to go under. They're really going to go under. Right, off my soapbox. Yes, so this actually came from, uh, speaking of which, um, York, Yorkshire Craft Beers. Paid £2.75 for it. Um, flipping out, that's dark. Well, it's got a red hue through it. So it's dark, it's got a small, just off white head. Let's get the aroma, shall we? Oh, get licorice. Roasted malts. Keen of coffee. Oops, still to it. Well, that's a sin. So roasted malts, I'm getting coffee. A little bit of smokiness. Almost a charred wood aroma to it as well. Now I'm going to hold my hand up on this one, and I think it's probably a little bit colder than it should be. Um, I have had it out of the fridge. Uh, I put it in the fridge. Oh, sin. Another one, second one tonight. Um, but I have had it out there for a while. It, it doesn't feel that cold anymore, but it just feels a bit muted. I'm just worried it is going to be a bit too cold, so uh, hopefully not. We'll see, won't we? Taste test. Cheers, everybody. Excuse me. Oh, that's warming. Flavor wise, start by saying the licorice is coming through really well. That's really nice. Flavour wise, you got the roasted malts here, which are coming through. A little bit of coffee. A little bit of coffee. Quickly, you get that little, a little hit of sweetness. And it's overtaken by, um, overtaken by a quite a mild licorice flavour, but it does take over everything. There's a touch of vanilla in there as well. That is nice. That's nice. That that licorice is working really well. I bought a stick of um, Brewer's licorice myself. I did get it. Uh, I've got some. Uh, St. Peter's uh, Honey Porter there, uh, and I've bought this little licorice, but I'm, I'm not going to put it in there because I think it ruined it. That needs a little bit more honey in there, bring through the honey flavour and a little bit more uh, ABV. But I'm going to do um, at some time an Imperial Stout. 
And I'm going to add licorice to that. Because when done well like this is, it's, it's quite a nice, um, it is a nice flavour to add. It's pleasant enough, there's a nice um, earthy bitterness that comes with it. It's, as you can see, it's easy drinking, but it's only 4.3% ABV. Uh, for me, and perhaps the fact it is 4.3%, it does lack a punch. And if we're being honest for a stout, that is quite thin for a stout. So it does need a little bit more. Let's have a read the label, shall we? Uh, licorice Lad Stout takes its name from the men who dug licorice root from the ground by hand. Ah, is it? Ah, I didn't know they were called Licorice Lads. As inspired by Robert, Robert Copley, the man who, uh, the man who is bringing, oh, the man who is bringing licorice back to Pontefract. Ah, bringing licorice back to Pontefract. Excellent. Um, yeah, uh, licorice. Um, Back in the day, lic licorice is well, it's an old medieval, isn't it? it's no medieval um, product. Um, but yeah, the fields around Pontefract at one time were full of licorice bushes. I've had licorice before. It's a how I phrase it, it's a bugger to grow. Uh, I've had it a few. T I've had it a few times. And that, as a kid, I was uh, I always loved the really hard licorice roots. Um, now my grandparents. We're from Pontefract, uh, and they used to tell me the days when they used to collect newspapers for the manufacturers of licorice, and they used to take these papers to the back doors of these places that used to process the licorice. They'd hand over all these newspapers that they could, I guess, package them in, wrap them in, whatever, whatever they did with these, the uh, manufacturers of the newspapers, and they got hand, they got handed like this, handed what they used to call the cat's whiskers, I think which on the licorice roots is a very, very fine bits of uh, root. And I think it was no good for getting licorice extract from. So they just used to hand it to the kids. Uh, and my grandparents always used to say, oh, it, it just used to, t it, it used to taste amazing. Now, the licorice roots we have nowadays are all the really tough, hard stuff, like flipping branches. Uh, but back in the day, it was the soft licorice, soft natural licorice roots which they uh, they used to chew on like i say i've had a, a couple of licorice bushes um never grown that well for me nice i think the last one i had i think one of the neighbors chucked a ball over and it snapped the flipping thing and um it died but when it when it had died it took the roots off and they were gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so we have a licorice uh, festival in pontifact every year uh, pandemic slowed that down a little bit, but I'm gonna have to next. Time, they always sell licorice plants, so I'm gonna have to get some. But I didn't realize this guy was gonna bring them back. Brilliant, isn't licorice brilliant? Um, brewed using homegrown malt and real licorice. This stout has a real aroma, a Pontefract case, and the depth of flavor from the rich roast and malt background. It does, it's got real licorice in it. Oh, that's amazing. Licorice lads, never knew they were called licorice lads. Well, I remember that now. Yeah, mine's not going to have proper licorice in it. Mine's got uh, licorice. A brewer's, it's a, yeah, you know, black. It's a brewer's licorice stick or something, I think it was called. But it's really good. If you ever buy Pontefract cakes, Pomfret cakes, make sure they've got um, a picture of the castle on. Because with the, the proper Pomfret cakes, they've got a picture of the castle on. Little top tip there from a Yorkshireman. But that's nice. The, the quality of licorice on that's amazing. Do you know what? That was nice. For a stout, for a licorice drink, really nice. It's almost like a bitter. It's got that... 
I'm torn over this because it's it's one it's local brewery and it's licorice pontefract for grandparents blah 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 and all that really local to me so I really want it to really want it to be nice it isn't as nice as I was hoping if I'm being honest the licorice flavor flavors are amazing I'll give it that it's just too thin and just lacks that punch I just wish as a stout it was brewed a little bit more stout the idea behind stout is it was um it was obviously porters originally and then it was like a stout porter it was like a strong porter but stouts and porters kind of diverged a little bit but the stout should still mean in my humble opinion that it's got some strength behind it some alcoholic punch behind it and unfortunately it does not have that which is an absolute crying shame um, but still it's a decent drink it's a decent beer yeah, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. And uh, what about? Yeah, you know, I would buy. I would buy it again. But I am only going to score it six and a half out of ten, which isn't a bad score, really. I suppose it's on the right side of the five. Anyway, um, yep, yeah, six and a half out of ten from Andy's beer reviews. Um, it's a nice beer, lacks the stoutiness. What more can I say? Until next time, everybody. Cheers.